everyone, this is Team Database with a video demo of our website for the final project. The site consists of a mini version of Internet Movie Database with functionality for movie and personnel search, browsing by movie title, cast and crew, and movie genre, with advanced features including movie recommendations based on user likes and similarities between movies, and also data visualization of some of the statistics of the movies. Uh, we have movie search and we have uh, personnel search for the people who worked on these movies. So if you just hit go without typing anything into the search field, it'll just show you all of our movies, similar to the genre search, and it's the same functionality through our whole website. It'll show you the results as links to individual movie pages. All right, to show off our search functionality, uh, we're going to look for Mad Max. And as you can see, Mad Max Fury Road comes up. You don't have to type in exactly Mad Max Fury Road. It'll look for similar movies. And as you can see on our movie info page, it'll show you uh, title, all the genres that this movie is, uh, all the sorts of info about the movie, including an overview. It'll show you the, uh, the stars of the movie, the main director, and the main writers, and awards. Uh, that were nominated for the movie and awards that it won. Uh, also, we have a like button for each movie and each person down at the bottom. So that'll just update our database and say that that movie is liked. And that stuff is used for recommendations, which I'll talk about later on. So not to, sh <clears throat> not to show off the cast member search, we're going to look for Quentin Tarantino. There he is. And similar to the movie uh, search results uh, for each uh, person that worked on a movie, uh, it'll show relevant info. So he acted in Pulp Fiction, directed all these movies, wrote all these movies, and here are his awards, nominations, and won. Yeah, that's, that's it for the basic functionality. Um, we also have a way to view all of our liked movies that, as, as I just talked about, you can click on the button and like a movie. So here's all the movies that we've liked so far. And similar, you can view all of the liked people, as you can see there. And for recommendations based on a specific movie, uh, there's, as you might have seen earlier, There's a button on each individual movie page that'll take you to movies that are similar to that movie. So for Avengers Age of Ultron, similar movies would be Thor The Dark Worlds and The Heart of the Sea and Captain America. So each movie in this list has at least one common cast member and one common genre as Age of Ultron. All right, so that's so. it for the basic uh, recommendations and searching of our website. Now we're going to talk about uh, advanced features, which Roger will walk you through. All right, so the first um, button for advanced recommendations uh, is this movies you might like button. So if you take, if you go to the page, you'll see first the movies of cast members that you've liked. You'll see that The Departed and Revenant are at the top of the list because these two movies ha star two people that we've liked. Um, the Departed has Mark Wahlberg and Leonardo DiCaprio, and The Revenant has Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. So the rest are just movies that one of our like cast members have been in. So then it'll go through every single movie we've liked and recommend movies that have at least one similar cast member and at least one similar genre. And view cast members you might like. It will show you first um, the cast members of movies that you've liked. Quentin Tarantino and Brad Pitt are on the top because both of them have been in two of our liked movies. Brad Pitt in World War Z and Inglorious Bastards, and Quentin Tarantino in um, The Hateful Eight and Inglorious Bastards. Um, so, for every single cast member that you like, it will find um, cast members that have co starred with these cast members mm -hmm. at least once. 
And the more frequently they've co-starred with the current cast member, the higher they are on the recommendations list. Like, for example, Leonardo DiCaprio has um, starred in a Martin Scorsese movie at least seven or eight times. So hmm. Martin Scorsese is at the top of DiCaprio's list, and Mark Wahlberg has been in the same movie as DiCaprio several times. So he's pretty high on his list. So that about um, wraps it up for recommendations. The last event, next event, events feature we have is data visualization. So if you go to, let's say, Daniel Radcliffe. So Daniel Radcliffe has quite a few movies under his name. And you want to know, like, okay, how did his movies perform? What are their popularities? What are their um, average ratings um, according to users? So if you click on View Movie Statistics, um, you can graph the rating and graph the popularity of his movies. So if you go to Graph Ratings, um, you'll see the movies in order of release date, which is... Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, and Victor Frankenstein. You'll see the ratings of the movies, um, the vote average versus the release date. You can see here, for example, that Victor Frankenstein is rated um, significantly lower <laughs> than the Harry Potter series because you just can't compete with Harry Potter. Never. And here you graph the popularity um, of the movies. Um, popularity for Victor Frankenstein is higher than its rating in relation to the Harry Potter movies just because it's a more recent movie and more people are talking about it and more people are viewing and going to see the movie at the moment. So that basically wraps up um, our application. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Database signing off.